Hey everyone, today's video is different. It's not a tutorial, not a showcase, but something more serious. Google's new rules might kill Android emulation. No more sideloading your favorite Switch, PS2, or PS3 emulators. Starting in 2026, every developer will have to verify their identity with Google, and that could change everything. Let's talk about why this is such a big deal. Sideloading is the process of installing a mobile app from a source other than the device's official app store, such as the Google Play Store or Apple's App Store. Popular emulators for the Nintendo Switch, PS3, and even PS2 rely on it. Some emulators have outdated versions on the Play Store, so sideloading is the only way to get the latest features. But with Google's new verification rules, this could change drastically. While emulators themselves are generally legal, they're closely associated with ROM, BIOS, and other copyrighted materials. Last year, Nintendo targeted the developers of the popular Switch emulator Yuzu for bypassing encryption, leading to a quiet settlement and the eventual shutdown of the project. Developers managed to avoid jail time, but the chilling effect on the community was real. Trixarian, creator of Nether SX2 and the upcoming Ethereal SX2, isn't too worried personally. He plans to register as a hobbyist if costs aren't prohibitive, but he warns about the bigger picture. We're losing essential freedoms and quick prototyping. Google's policies are slowly killing the platform a death by a thousand cuts. While Google already has much of his personal information, Trixarian highlights the risk of harassment in the emulation community, citing past incidents where leaked developer info led to online attacks. Jared Norwell, developer of the Switch emulator Sudachi, believes the crackdown will discourage developers from making public apps. Open about his identity online, he's comfortable providing his info to Google, but many others are not, fearing harassment or legal threats. Some developers fear that verification could put them at risk of legal action or harassment. Open Sauce from the Azahar team is strongly opposed. He argues that Android's openness is a core value being threatened. Google's new rules are an attack on Android's freedom disguised as safety. Identity verification could expose emulator developers to serious legal liability. Submitting a legal name, address, email, and even government ID makes it trivial for companies like Nintendo to request that information from Google. The risk is high, and many developers may simply abandon Android emulation as a result. Fortunately, this policy only affects Play Protect certified devices. Handhelds from Ionio, Retroid, Anburnic, and AYN should still allow sideloading provided developers continue supporting them. As the Android community watches closely, the hope is that Google reconsiders this policy before it rolls out. Until then, sideloading remains a vital part of Android gaming freedom. At the end of the day, this isn't just about emulators, it's about what Android stands for. Openness, freedom, and choice have always been its defining features, and if those start to disappear, so does a huge part of what makes the platform special. Whether you're an emulation fan, a developer, or just someone who values having control over your own device, this policy is is worth paying attention to. The future of sideloading and Android gaming freedom may depend on the decisions made over the next year. So, what do you think? Is Google protecting users or slowly shutting the door on innovation? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe for more updates on the world of emulation and Android gaming.